Hey everyone! Oh fuck yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I have a Kmart haul for you. Well, it's Kmart and one item from, I think, Target? Sorry about that towel. Um, the first thing is this hat I got from Kmart for $9. Just your average straw hat. I have trouble finding hats that fit my head. Um, especially wide brimmed hats that look fashionable, halfish. And I found this for $9. There was another one for about the same, maybe a little bit cheaper, that fit a lot better. But I felt like the style didn't really suit my head. Like it fit a lot looser, this other style one. Because this one's a tiny bit tight, but you get that. So I got this. And I'm definitely thinking about getting the other one when I go to Target back. Uh, Kmart. I'm definitely thinking about the other one when I go. Everyone on my videos for Hall everyone on my videos for Halloween has been like, why don't you use fake blood? Fake blood will look made this look twenty times better. Um, honestly, I could never find fake blood, and I gave up finding fake blood. And the second I film all my tutorials, guess what I find? Fake blood. Okay, that was supposed to sound really creepy, but it didn't. It was two dollars. It's the Halloween fake blood from Target. The things were nails. They had like heaps of like Halloween themed nails there. I decided to go with the crossbones, skull and crossbones. And I also decided to go with the little spiders because they just looked so awesome and they remind me like I don't know why. They kind of remind me like either redbacks or like hunts and spiders or something really disgusting and gross. So yeah, they were like $3 each and I don't normally pay that much for my um, fake nails anyway. So yeah, wish me luck with these. Got these at Guardian Pharmacy. So these were $9.95. Okay, sorry guys. They were $9.95 and they were the medium earrings from the uh, brand Wicked Sister. They had smaller ones and larger ones. If you watch Two Broke Girls, you would recognise this. Um, well, when I saw this, I thought of Two Broke Girls or Caroline, Caroline's Necklace. And yes, this has got little diamantes amongst the fake pearls, but it seriously reminds me of her necklace that she wore, like, was it, I think it was like first and second season. I don't know if she still wears it in the show. I know that's not her real name, but yeah so it just looks like that i don't know if you can tell five six seven eight. and this is sad for me to say but i'm like a size six or seven in women's shoes so that's that okay and they got like the that thing and a bit more stretch to them and they got a the little buckle and then we got some more sandals These were in a seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm size seven in women's friggin' shoes. And this is called woven sandals, women's sandals in white. These were twelve dollars. The other ones were ten. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you on one of these soon. Bye. Modern chic open S set cuff. It was eight dollars, and it's just this uh, rose gold kind of uh, cuff bracelet thingy, and it's. So pretty, like I like my dainty things lately. Oh, and yes, this does fit. It's just a real tight fit to get onto the arm, but it goes down really well on my arm. And I think you can see it's got the little diamantes in that. And especially since I've been tanned, it looks. It doesn't really stand out. It's just like one of those pieces that it probably wouldn't stand out much if I wasn't tanned. But I just like it, and I've been really attracted to rose gold lately without even realizing it. Um. So yeah, it just looks like so, it's just the usual uh, round thing open there, but it's open, but then um, it doesn't like, what's the word, it um, sits like really well and it doesn't like slip off the wrist, well not on mine, because I got fat wrists as you can see, like look. Got my like holy grail um, tan up. Well, it's a uh, gradual self tan body lotion, and from Dove, and this is like my everything. It was nine dollars fifty normal price, but then it was six dollars sixty five on sale, or promotional price, I should say. 
and I love it. It's like my, oh my god, my holy freaking grail. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but my skin, it just, over three, like, three days using this one today, it suddenly just fills up the beautiful, beautiful tan that's not too, like, over the top for me, for my liking. Um, so yeah, and $9.50 is actually the cheapest I've ever seen it for on, like, that's normal price. So to have it at six or sixty-five is phenomenal. So I don't know where I'm getting it because normally it's between ten to even twelve dollars at some places for the four hundred ml. So I don't know where I'm going now from now on. I think it's yeah. It doesn't. Loving pastels lately. You should probably be able to tell in my Facebook and my Twitter. Um. So I've been looking for like a pastel orange and a pastel yellow, and all the yellows I come across were like. Um, either too bright for my liking, even though they were dulled down, like, they weren't pastel, but then they weren't bright, though, that's somewhere in between, which I didn't really like, and, um, for something that I'm probably gonna not want to wear, or, like, of course I'm gonna wear it, but it might be a phase for me liking the pastels, so I don't really want to spend, like, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars on a nail polish. So I just went to Kmart, got the Rimmel 60 second nail enamel, and this was a dollar. I don't know, I think this is normally five dollars, which I'm okay paying like five dollars for a nail polish, but anything above that I don't really like paying, even though you're probably getting better quality with the more expensive nail polishes. But yeah, this was a dollar, and it is in... 5 by 7 round and round in circles. So that's that. And I'm going to go back because I saw, I think BYS or Sinful Colours had the other one I wanted which was like a pastel pink. So yeah, that's that. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on another video soon. Bye!